We are sitting with one of the most desirable men in Pakistan today. Women want to be around him, men want to be him. Uh, which is why we find, feel that we're exceptionally lucky that we're actually with him today. Okay. It is Fawad. You find that particularly funny, don't you? I do actually, you know. I would have never imagined that. Um, um, even if that is so, maybe 15 years ago, I, I would have been hysterical. Had you been saying <laughs> that. But now I've sort of toned down. I can take it into my stride and say, yeah. Did the <laughs> amount of people who have taken selfies with you in the last... I think one year hmm. is probably like some Guinness pre Guinness record or something, isn't it? Uh, could be, and I think I blame the the, the Kapoor sisters the most <laughs> for that because of the sort of the marketing gimmick for the film yeah. was the was the selfie. But I felt that because of the movies, हर जगह जब जा रहे थे तो ना मैंने गाया था ना मैंने को डांस किया था फिल्म के अंदर तो वो चार जो है वो शी यूज़ टू लाइक शेक अ बम फोर टाइम्स एंड देन आई जस्ट प्रॉब्ली यू नो एंड व्हेन आई यूज़ टू कम टू माय टर्न एंड दे यूज़ टू से डांस आई लाइक वुड यू रेडर हैव अ सेल्फी but if we take it back a few years and if i talk to you because you're obviously from lahore and you just said that you know 15 years ago you would have never thought that what was life like back then what was life 15 years ago like lahore was so much more peaceful it was so much more nicer you know the distances were, were were longer you didn't have cell phones you know that you'd have to like sort of you know uh, get to a place call someone before you leaving you just call them you're on the way you're calling them you just call from home and you just get to somewhere and you'd meet people i think you'll go back home the yeah. drives were 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 longer more peaceful neher jo thi i think was so much more beautiful i think jo log i i'm sure you you mm -hmm. you know that lahore as well <laughs> there was this concrete jungle jo ab hai वो नहीं होता था टाइम दैट नो वन न्यू फवाद खान द ओनली पीपल हु न्यू फवाद खान प्रॉब्ली माय पेरेंट्स एंड माय सिस्टर्स एट होम एंड हां फवाद खान वाज अ घर की मुर्गी दाल बराबर तो यार आई हैव नेवर बीन दैट मच ऑफ अ सोशल पर्सन आई यूज्ड टू प्राउडली लेबल माय सेल्फ एज एन इंट्रोवर्ट बिकॉज़ आई थिंक introverts are geniuses so <laughs> so i'm tooting pitch. my own horn and <laughs> then movies happened and, and so much for the introvert huh? and so much for well i mean all you say is what you see on the screen yeah. you know we as actors are i, I say that with also with, with pride that we're the most unethical people on earth you know we get paid <laughs> to lie a lot of the time so we're lying yeah, so this is an aura yeah. it's the aura yeah. that you're in you know it's that screen persona that you're in love with otherwise behind the screens what i am yes i feel there is a mystery about it and i choose to keep it that way because yeah. it kind of um, it sort of uh, you know keeps that 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 privacy in my life mm -hmm. alive and i think at the end of the day i'm just as normal as you know my next yeah. door neighbor and i would rather let it be like that but since we are sort of speaking about the people that you surround yourself with and the people that you're comfortable with mm. we know that you met your wife sadaf much much earlier on in life and it was kind of there boy gone huh yeah boy was gone boy was gone boy is still very <laughs> off much the menu. gone huh <laughs> off the menu not like anyone really cared at that time but <laughs> but uh, yeah uh, i was very fortunate i was very lucky yeah. to have bumped into uh, sadaf at a very early stage in my life mm -hmm. and i have no shame in admitting that it was a bit of a turbulent time yeah. for me um, there were you know there were things i was like a very i was a very uh, yeah. into metal into you know uh, black metal goth metal that kind of that kind of wow. a guy you know and uh, the angry young man the angry young man so yeah. the dark time was because the reason why i won't say is because i don't want to necessarily encourage youngsters out there yeah but there were certain things that you know we'd uh, be up to which were you know it was like harming yourself in a certain yeah. way and uh, i remember that sadaf you know was like this uh, light at the end of the tunnel that sort of uh, kind of pulled me out of it yeah. um when i met her she kind of just like sort of put me into perspective and said what the hell are you doing what, what is this what is it? why are you fantasizing about this ha huh? what is this what is this <laughs> death and darkness that you fantasize about and god knows what but more than that she became a, a really good friend and she yeah. became my best friend yeah. and i proposed to her at that age i remember i met her and i was like i'm a traditionalist you know, i'm a very traditional kind of a guy i'm a traditional hard rock guy yeah, metal a traditional hard rock guy <laughs> with you know with old school thoughts so i'm a very complex character yeah. but um, but i i don't believe in any dilly dallies and i don't so believe cool. in it so you saw her and you knew she was the one so in 10 days i proposed to her yeah <laughs> uh, okay then it's <laughs> kind of weird so that's yeah, sort of but also but when it happens it happens huh yeah i mean if, if i were to do that 
you know, if we were in this day and age, she'd probably file a restraining order or something. <laughs> but but, no, but uh, clearly, she she had a lot of faith in you. I mean, if if no, at she that didn't. she oh. did, it took her three years, four years to say yes. Oh, that's fine. No, but yeah. she at least did say yes. She said yes to Fawad Khan, the guy. Because he was yeah. not Fawad Khan, the star who Obviously, everyone I was would say not, yes to. I was to not now. anything. She has known me in my lowest of moments and in my highest of eyes, and I owe it all to her. You know, yeah. for that composure in my life. No, but that's very interesting that you say that because even when one sees pictures of you and everything, it's almost like she's your anchor. Like, you she know, is. the way she... I kind of lean in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of leaning in every picture. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, it's really cool. That is one cool composed woman to have in your life, huh? Yeah, yeah. And I bet, like, bichari isko to nazar lagti hogi char karod aurton ki saari dunia se aaj kala. So there's this small little world that Fawad Khan sort of lives in and then there is, like, all this big spillover for it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, um, no, I don't think it's a spillover. But, yeah, in... Um, it's, it's, it, they're very contrasting worlds, mm -hmm. I would say. They're very contrasting worlds. And sometimes, yeah, I do face a, a bit of a MPD, a multiple personality disorder, where, you know, you step in there, you're expected to be something else. And you step back Shiny, home. Shiny, happy person, and, you know, like, obviously, you don't have the room to be. Yeah. Just be. You're living to sort of like two aliases. Okay, so now that you're traveling so much, I mean, you know, you're barely ever around, and you say, obviously, your child is clearly the center of your universe. What's a typical day for you like when you're back home? Strange enough, the first two days, yeah. I sleep it off. <laughs> so I have I have a lot of jumping on me, uh -huh. you know. So there's Ayan is like constantly sort of kicking me and jumping on me and like beating me and saying, "Ya to papa jo hai, ya to bahar hota hai, ya fir gym jata hai, ya fir so ra hota hai." So then I, I get shame, and then I get up. And after two days, I think we then get into the cycle, mm -hmm. and then I'm the one who kind of spoils his habits. So we kind of, you know, like try to get a movie and do the regular stuff, yeah. you know, like, you know, order in, watch a movie, mm -hmm. play video games, go outside. And, and right now we just had a recent addition to our family and it's a, it's a small puppy. Oh. Uh, he's like, he's, he's, and that's what Ayan has been like, you know, sort of, he's been craving it all his life. And oh. so finally we were able to, to, to have this new member in the family. Have you seen that on your Instagram yet? Because I, I do hound you on Instagram. I don't think he's quite made a public appearance yet, has he? Well, you might want to sort of, you know, <laughs> not mention Instagram because that Instagram <laughs> account is not mine. What? No, well, I mean, it is kind of mine, <laughs> but it's not mine. It's kind of like the, the, the Twitter thing that happened yeah. where I was like uh, forced to, uh, to go on to Twitter. And you see, that's the thing with me. I really easily get bullied by women. You can't and I should not be telling you that. account is not yours. I, I should not. Follow it every you, day. You can follow it. There's no problem in that. <laughs> okay. But let me, let me get back to my story. I kind of get easily bullied by women. Oh, and, or I should not be <laughs> saying this. Uh, but so this, what happened with Sonam during the, with, yeah. uh, during the, the promotions of Kupsura, uh -huh. she just took my phone one day and she said, so let me install Twitter on your phone. And I was like, okay, go ahead. <laughs> and she's like, so here's how you work Twitter, and this is your password. What do you want to? What do you want to keep your password? And I probably would have told him my password as well, except that she was just polite enough to say, why don't you enter it yourself? Otherwise, I would have said like, Otherwise, whatever, man. Speaking to Sonam right now. Whatever. To you. <laughs> whatever. So the thing is that I've never been a very social, mm -hmm. you know, savvy social network savvy person, okay. taken out, or friendly person that way. But uh, so she opened another Twitter account, and then. I was a special guest here, so No more accounts. No, but I find that so beautiful because that actually means that you're living for yourself and not to showcase yourself to other people. Because inevitably the social media is to just show others what your life is about, right, isn't it? True. Do you have an Instagram account? I have an <laughs> everything account. <laughs> it's my job. <laughs> Look at him. Okay. No, the tables are turning around, so I'm going to go back right to him. And yes, we're just going to start talking about um, your influences. Because clearly, I mean, you know, obviously your wife has been a very strong influence. And in, because obviously you've known her for as long as you have. Um, from, you know, transforming you from that heavy metal, dark kind of a boy to where you are today, mm -hmm. which is very commercial, mainstream success. And... Really? Yeah. You want to give her that much credit? I don't think she likes you that commercial, mainstream stuff either. 
but uh, no, yeah, but okay. No, but actually, that's what we're coming towards because obviously she had a role to play, and then I'm sure there are other people who had roles to play in there. Mm. Mm. Who who do you see like in lots of ways? I mean, I'm sure you've had mentors, people that you've looked up to. I've had many teachers in my life. Mm. I think, um, and I owe them a lot. And I think it started off with with my sister. She influenced my initial sense of style, um, and and uh, my my actually you know my music. Not my music, my music, but the music I was listening to. Okay. Um, she introduced me to a lot of bands at that time. This is back in like '92, okay. so you know that was a time when 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 off Nirvana Nirvana hit the scene. Yeah, off beat se cassettes karite the. <laughs> exactly, beat cassettes hoti thi and uh, and I remember at that time. That's when she introduced me to you know the likes of of U2, Nirvana. REM. Oh. Or Sapelic UK, to be very that honest. That was a cool sister, by the way, because everyone else was listening to Brian Adams and Michael Jackson. Brian and Adams is <laughs> listening And Michael Jackson was dangerous. <laughs> I, think. I was listening to Elvis Presley at the age of nine. Yeah. And, you know, there was like, in the ghetto. This <laughs> kind of I was I was listening to. There was like this this is a selection yeah. best of Elvis Presley. Charles yeah. Gano's tape. I was listening to that. Repeat. Then one side, then the other side. Then the first side. Because I didn't have anything else to listen to. To be very honest. Uh, I didn't know what to listen to. What to listen to. And, uh, and again, I had no personal sense of style. So she started saying, yeah, you know, dress your age and dress like a teenager. And dress like a cool teenager. You know, wear plaid t uh, shirts. You know, wear... Where you know uh, uh, fatigue denims and you know uh -huh. th that kind of uh, that she kind of put me in that space where I was like okay fine this is how you dress. She cool. at least made you aware of the fact aware, that there yeah. is a cool way of dressing. Yeah. Children and what would your parents have said if you told them like 20 years ago, 15 years ago, me Bollywood actor banunga? Bollywood actor nahi, but I to apne, I told my father <laughs> I want to become a musician and we used to actually mujhe to bahut zyada galam galoch padi hai and I had really? a lot of also? I faced a lot of <laughs> resistance at home. Mm -hmm. I did. But tell me, was was acting accidental? Because obviously you set out to absolutely be a musician. Absolutely accidental. Wow. <laughs> and 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 even and music, absolutely accidental. Did you? Yeah. So what was the story there? The story there was so here's my first semester. And by the way, without studying, so here's where I say, you know, I could have <laughs> been a natural, I'm a natural born genius. So, I'll give you a little bit of advice. I'm going to go, I'm a natural genius. Okay, anyway, yes. I had a CGP of, at that time uh, of three without, I, I lived half my, my wife was in lumps. And this story is known. So, I was known more as a Luminite rather than a Fastian. Uh -huh. Because I was looking at the lungs and the guard actually believed that I didn't want to get an ID. I used to just walk in. And one or two times, I also said, what's up, Chacha? And I went to the game. And I have even been in one of the auditoriums and attended a lecture there as well. I didn't go to attend the lecture. I just, gave, I just went to actually sit next to my wife, you know. Check and I got kicked out of class. <laughs> so the point is that, um, uh, that whole first semester was, was spent mm -hmm. me basically going and spending my time with my friends because all my friends were in Lams as well. At that time, I thought that this is not going to work. I was going to reach out every day and let's do something. So I met a friend who was in my batch mm -hmm. and through a common friend, there was something that came from Hassan's name. Hassan Khalid is now with me. We know him. That's right. 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 So, we just got to know in a common direction and then we thought that there's some music issues here. Okay, Hassan used to play. He used to play amazing. He was really good because he'd actually been learning the guitar. So, our other friend was Zulfi. Okay. Zulfi Kaar Zibar. Absolutely, absolutely. So, who also had a band called Call at some point in time and he's like a very successful producer. He was literally, you know, with one foot up on the wall, leaning against the wall. So, music is good for you guys. So, they said, yeah, I'm a good character. It was actually out of a movie. If you want to make a movie about a rock band, you know, honestly, when I saw these films, you know, Rock On and Rock Star, I was like, yeah, the Indians don't know anything about rock music. They don't know how a band comes into being, how it's like. We should be sharing those experiences because, mind you, one of the most beautiful things about Lahore back in the day was the underground gig culture. एक अंडरग्राउंड बैंड्स का एक एक पूरा एक एक वो होता था 
एंड uh, आपकी डायरेक्टर भी जानती हैं हम सब के सब जानते हैं बिकॉज अ लॉट ऑफ दिस ओल्ड यू नो दिस दिस लॉट ऑफ पीपल ये अब आगे फिर म्यूजिक को मेन स्ट्रीम में लेके आए एंड uh, तो उस वक्त ये जुल्फी भी जो एक अंडरग्राउंड बैंड का हिस्सा था लाइक चलो हम अपना एक बैंड बनाते हैं तो हमारा एक और दोस्त बना वकार बना फिर एक और दोस्त बना सजाद एंड अली असद खान एंड सो वी स्टार्ट दिस अंडरग्राउंड बैंड So at some point in time, I think there were nine people in the band as well. <laughs> so we were like trying group. to start a group. Tha. Our actually musical group. Tha. And we were like, "Yeah, we will break the stage. We will break the stage. We will break the stage." And it was about music, but it was more about having fun. Yeah. And if I think about it, at that time, it didn't make much money. Yeah. But if I had a chance to trade this life for that, I'd go for that any day of the week. Azadi. No, it was just it was just fun, being. you know. It's just like being yourself. There's nothing, there's nothing comparable to the life of a rock star. An actor cannot compete any day, any day of the week. You go on stage, pe jate hai, you connect to people. They're in front of you. There's this live audience. Yeah. The feeling is is, you know, it makes your hair stand on end. It's amazing. It's exhilarating, and you can't compare it. So, फिर उससे आगे बढ़ता गया तो मेरी फिर कुछ दोस्तों से मुलाकात हुई. It's old friend of mine who's uh, who had directed a school play of uh-huh. about, it was called Spartacus back in school okay his name is Zain Ahmed is Sabin Ahmed of course yes 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 bete hai and so uh, he called me and he's like i'm starting this thing called Jatin Bond i was like Jatin Bond oh so like my. so what what, what <laughs> he's like i'd like you to play Bond i was like Bond okay James Bond uh, James Bond <laughs> he's like no no it's not that kind of a bond <laughs> and lo and behold it definitely was not that kind of a bond ye aur gigs chal rahi hain तो मुझे तो पॉकेट मनी फिर वैसे ही नहीं इतनी को मिलती थी एकदम से मेरे पास जो है ना पंद्रह बीस हजार रुपए आ गए महीने के और मैं माला माल हो गया मैं तो आपके से बाहर ही हो गया मैं तो सो इट वॉज अ गुड टाइम आई वुड से ऑल इन ऑल इट वॉज अ गुड टाइम बट दैट्स हाउ आई काइंड ऑफ वेंचर इन टू एक्टिंग कुछ पता नहीं मे बी आई कुड बिन यू नो कम्प्लीटली कुड बिन अ टेरेबल सी ग्रेड प्रोग्राम टूडे हैड आई नॉट मैथ दीज दीज पीपल so i would say that these people also became somewhat of a tutor a mentor in my life yeah. because they influenced my life you know i learned a lot from them and during that acting cycle as uh-huh. well i came across some more interesting people shoaib ansoor wow yes was probably the next step and i learned a great deal from him yeah. i was an over actor i was a loud actor And is that uh, true that is very true because you're a very subdued person generally like whenever one interacts with you like mera purana kaam hai dekho aur na hi kabhi dekh le jatin bond ke baba so khair wahan pe to usme to cover up hota tha because wahan pe jitna bhi loud ho jaye to acha tha exactly usme aake settle ho gaya bond james bond to bahut ajeeb lagta shoaib ansoor is probably the first person who said ki wahan pe zyada hai to thoda kam kar le kam kar and another friend of mine choudhary vasi choudhary i remember his one thing that he said to me he was like yeah tv pe to aap puti buthi guma le to tv pe to pata lagta hai because tv ki screen itni choti hoti hai bade parde pe jab itni badi screen hoti hai and because vasi choudhary's family had you know been in the tradition of film making and they owned a cinema as well so he was always like you know very filmy person exactly he would think big so he would think big so he's like ye yaar badi screen pe to aap zara sa and this was his exact work yaar aankh idhar se udhar jati hai to dabas ek jo na ek impact hota hai So well, that I, clear, I yes. used to I used to sort of pick up on these things and mm-hmm. I started realizing ki yaar ha you know subtle is better subtle is better then I met another person Haisam Hussain mm-hmm. who I worked with on Dastan and I remember he told me ki yaar don't use these use these oh. so these kind of people you know they I feel have influenced me have you know taught me a lot mm-hmm. and I do owe them a lot of uh, you know a lot of my gratitude <laughs> nobody observe absorb, absorb. I, exactly. i do exactly so that's that. what i was coming yeah. to because i'm sure that these people obviously have interacted with a lot of people they've given this advice to a lot of people but i don't think many i'm sure of sitting behind but then again you know but that's the thing that i wanted to do then i was like yaar agar karna hai isko to jitna behtar kiya ja sakta hai utna behtar kar lete hain mm-hmm. another person that you know, i sh- i uh, is worth mentioning i think he's been a very big influence in my life as far as a sense of style is concerned yeah. you know, as far as you know even common logic and rationale mm-hmm. is concerned is asim raza is a very good uh, yes. very good friend i have known him i did my first ad with him so yeah. taken a lot of advice from him yeah during my career and i think that if there is one director in this country who has a very developed sense of aesthetics mm-hmm. that's him yeah that is true though he's got uh, the eye he's got the eye <laughs> definitely right. got the eye 
एंड आई थिंक अगर मेंटोस की लिस्ट में अगर मैं सदफ का नाम ना मेंशन करूं तो दैट मेरी वाली मैं वाली नहीं ये वाली मेरी घर वाली मैं भी आपको मेंटोर कर सकती हूं कोई मसला नहीं है नहीं लेकिन मेरी काफी मेंटोरिंग होगी मेरा सर फट जाएगा इतने मेंटोर्स अगर मेरे अपने सर पे बिठा ली बट या सदफ अगेन आई बीन वेरी लकी टू हैव दीस पीपल जिनका एक डेवलप सेंस ऑफ एस्थेटिक्स है अम वेरी डेवलप्ड वेरी डेवलप्ड ट्रस्टेड देम ऑफ दिस इट्स लाइक अ Too like Sadaf to khair is always in way you know she runs her own uh, yeah. fashion thing as well but a lot of people don't know this that you know if i go out shopping yeah. i'm the kind of person jo aap wo filmo dekhte hain na teacher se boodha ho jata hai allah na kare na kare khuda khuda na kare jiski biwi jab mar jati hai to wo wahi tie pen ke aata hai jo biwi ne jo hai select karke di hoti hai ki my wife bought me these things so i wear oh. these ridiculous looking ties but the weird thing is that sort of whenever i go shopping i have to take it with yeah. me because i really take her advice very seriously no but i can see that she's probably very honest with you too yeah. right she 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 gives it to you as it is yeah but she has what you have to have an eye for that yeah i'm sure there will be a lot of other people who are honest yeah. but, absolutely but <laughs> so honest for the sake of honest <laughs> such, such honesty such pucho to <laughs> <laughs> i think western cinema has been a real big influence in my life um मुझे ऐसा लगा कि यार चलो रिवाइंड करते हैं और शुरू से होके आते हैं नाउ लेट्स सी कि अब क्या हो रहा है आई वेंट बैक टू द फोर्टीज अ फ्रेंड ऑफ माइन हु सेड कि यार तू जरा मार्लिन ब्रांडो को देख ऐसा कि यार हर कोई बोलता है मार्लिन ब्रांडो मार्लिन ब्रांडो मार्लिन ब्रांडो क्या है मार्लिन कौन है क्या समझता है अपने आप को हां मतलब एनी बना फिर रहा है जो सबका एन एवरी हॉलीवुड एक्टर सेइंग कि मार्लिन ब्रांडो इज समथिंग यू शुड लर्न समथिंग फ्रॉम एंड I went back and I started watching these films by Elia Kazan uh-huh. uh, starting from a streetcar named Desire. Oh, that was that was the one of the oldest films I think. Another one was uh, a film by Cecil B DeMille but I don't remember remember that too well. Mm-hmm. But then I was like yeah okay let's start again from the top. And I watched a couple of Brando films mm-hmm. and then I realized this is acting. Yeah. This is what you call performance. Then I started watching and I was like yeah there's two schools of एक्टिंग जो कि चल रहे हैं आई वुड कॉल इट द मेथड इन द क्लासिकल एंड गॉड नोज वॉट बट आई वुड से कि ब्रिटिश सिनेमा का एक अपना एक डिस्टिंक स्टाइल ऑफ एक्टिंग था और हॉलीवुड सिनेमा का अपना एक डिस्टिंक स्टाइल ऑफ एक्टिंग था सो दैन आई क्रॉस ओवर द ब्रिटिश सिनेमा आई वॉच द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ लॉरेंस एलेवियर एंड पीटर ओटूल एंड दैन आई केम बैक दैन आई स्टार्ट वॉचिंग दी अर्यर वर्क ऑफ यू नो डस्टन हाफमन एंड एंड स्टीव मक्वीन एंड बहुत सारे आर्टिस्ट बहुत सारे there was a lot taken and that i started watching just 6 years ago wow. and now i make it a point that i watch a film every night but i guess that was the turning point then huh then when you decided that i want to be an actor yeah. i might as well be a really good at least a very literate very you know knowledgeable actor i wouldn't say knowledgeable but but the, those were experiences i was again absorbing mm-hmm. i was observing and i was absorbing mm-hmm. but um I mean obviously what we see of you is a lot of success at least we've seen it progressively you know like there was a successful band there was successful in tv and then you know now there's bollywood but they do say that it's not your success but your failures that actually define you in a lot of ways mm-hmm. I mean do do you feel when you look back that there are some milestones some disappointments that really t- change the way that you look at things uh weirdly enough uh, there was a film I don't know maybe some point in time kabhi aage zindagi mein main naam bhi lunga us film ka maine audition kiya uske liye It was a Hollywood film. Ah, that's before my foray into television. Okay. Taken up. I went and auditioned for the film, and the director sort of, you know, sort of, she was locked in. She was like zeroed in. She's like, "You're the one. You're the one." I was like, "Wow, I'm the one." Oh yeah. Okay. Wow. For like, Hollywood. <laughs> for Hollywood, yeah. So because the thing is that she gave me one scene, then she gave me another, then she gave me another. I was doing screen tests. Yeah. Then she gave me like a total like six, seven scenes, and I was mm-hmm. like, "This is getting serious." and then we were in constant communication we were in touch for a whole year yeah. by the end of it this i literally kid you not happened on my birthday i sort of uh, called her and i was like uh, listen if it's not going to work out you know i don't mean to pester or badger you but let me know na matlab chhod do ab ya to let me go disappointment to ek hi dafa ho jaye exactly and uh, she said to me fawad listen i don't need to waste my time you know if i were not serious so i will tell you but you have to wait and uh, i was like hey, the point is i not about me trying to say you give me the role but yeah. if you just let me sort of i will pursue other things otherwise i put everything on hold yeah. for a whole year i did not 
do anything. Yeah. I did not do anything. I just waited. I just waited. I was like, "Nayar, ab is kaam se jana ab aage shuruaat karenge." And kuch aise note pe baat khatam hui, kuch aisa koi ankahi baat thi ya kuch aisi baat thi ki jo mujhe mehsoos hua shayad koi ek negative si cheez mehsoos hui. I broke into tears after that. I kind of broke into tears. I was devastated. I was like, yeah, I was broken. I was like, where am I standing? Mm. I literally had did not have much money, and uh, and I was like, yeah, you know, I have That's a whole family to support. That's the one thing you're counting on, yeah. You know, and I have a whole family to support. So what do I do now? Yeah. I've waited endlessly for a whole year to pursue a passion, you know, without yeah. thinking about money, yeah. and where has it got me? Yeah. And after that, I was like, you know what? Forget it. If I'm not good enough at this craft, yeah. I'm going to polish that craft, and I'm going to polish that craft in television. Yeah. Yeah. And then I got into TV. Nice. And I remember there were times, even while I was doing TV, when I used to be like, uh, I hate this. Yeah. I hated it. I hated every minute of it. And wow. I was like, yeah, मतलब मैं क्या कर रहा हूँ? Because उस वक्त TV का इतना trend भी नहीं होता था. People did not watch TV. And obviously there was a conflict in your head too because there's a lot that you want to do for yourself, your family, and everything, and you want no, I'll be very honest. But the, I'll be very, very, uh, you know, blunt about it. Um, I didn't think much of TV. मैंने इसमें सोचा कि TV जो एक बहुत ही बड़ी चीज़ है, एक बहुत बड़ा medium है. To think of it as a very lowly medium at mm -hmm. that time. And then things suddenly started getting better. People started, you know, sort of recognizing. अच्छा लगा, you know. Maybe it's something that every person yearns for. Mm -hmm. And जब बहुत ज़्यादा हो जाता है, that's the that's the bigotry in life, I think. आप जब बहुत ज़्यादा हो जाता है, उसके बाद आप कहते हो, बहुत हो गया यार. मतलब now it's getting overbearing. Yeah. कि मतलब कोई ना पहचाने, बस सब ये सब. और जब नहीं होता, तो उसमें क्या होता है? You're craving it. You're almost begging for it. How did Bollywood then suddenly happen? Bollywood, Bollywood happened. <laughs> like, I was like waiting, please. Bollywood <laughs> happen, ho jaye. And then there was this boy who was sitting and brooding away. Yeah. <laughs> Bollywood is such a way that I, uh, it's not a very masala story. You know, I realized you're really humble. <laughs> you're uh, like, nahi nahi, meri koi masala story nahi. Meri struggle bhi achhi thi. Where God was very kind. Dude, you struggled. You had such a beautiful, long struggle, long struggle and then you got to such a wonderful, wonderful place. It's, लेकिन बड़ा हुआ अजीब सा लगता है जब कभी बार लोग कहते हैं ना कि क्या यार आपकी लग बड़ी अच्छी है आए और छा गए ओ भाई मैं 2000 सन 2000 से मैं काम कर रहा हूँ पीपल डोंट नो दैट पीपल डोंट नो दैट मोस्टली दीज एक्टर्स लॉट ऑफ दीज टेलीविजन एक्टर्स है लॉट ऑफ म्यूजिशियंस इज वेल इन फैक्ट इवन अली जफर आई थिंक ही स्टार्टेड म्यूजिक आफ्टर वीड आफ्टर ई पी वॉज इन इन प्लेस एंड आई रिमेंबर हम सारे बैंड मेंबर्स ना एक कॉन्सर्ट पर बैठे हुए एक टूर पर गए हुए थे तो हम बैठे थे कमरे में और उस वक्त छन्नों की वीडियो आई थी और हम बैठ के छन्नों की वीडियो देख रहे हैं और यार ये तो खा जाएगा सबको दीज आर लिटरली आर वर्ड्स हम सब जो ना वी वर वी वर लाइक अ ग्रीन टू कह खा जाएगा सबको सो पॉइंट इज बिन लॉन्ग टाइम बट नाउ आई एम लाइक टू टायर टू आंसर दैट मैं कहता हूँ हाँ जी शुक्रिया हाँ जी शुक्रिया बिल्कुल सो बॉलीवुड आई वॉज लिटरली 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 आई थिंक बिस्तर में था सोया हुआ था फोन आया सोने की बहुत सिग्निफिकेंस है जिंदगी में हाँ देखे जो सोता है वो खोता नहीं है वो बहुत कुछ पाता है तो आप इस चीज पर अमल जरूर करें आप सोएंगे आप सपने देखेंगे और वो सपने पूरे हो जाएंगे आपके खाप देखेंगे सपने हो गया ना बस बड़ा प्यारा लग रहा था जब आपने सपने भी बोला था हमको लग रहा था तो मैं सोया था एंड आई कॉल फ्रॉम कास्टिंग डायरेक्टर His name is Nalini Ratnam, okay. and she was like, you know, the, we are casting for this film mm -hmm. called Khub Surat. She was like, here's the script, okay. and you know, here's the one-liner, and there's the script, and all that. Yeah. And they're like, एक दो scenes record करके भेज दे मैंने भेज दिया record करके scenes. They liked it. Yeah. They flew me down, and I think May that same mm -hmm. year, I came down. एक reading की मैंने with the director and with Sonam, and uh, I think that was more of a formality because जब मैंने उनको tests record करके भेजे थे. Which you know, the, the, the uh, three uh, people I think who really helped me in that were Maram Abru and Samir, yeah. and who um, recorded करके भेजे, and uh, they liked that. तो उस चीज की basis पे already I think they were pretty much पक्का कि यार इसलिए they had flown you there, so they kind of knew. They just ज़हन बन चुका हुआ था उनका. So I went there, then I met uh, Anil Kapoor and Rhea. 
but we sat there in a room and they were like, so how do we do this? You know, like, so how do we do it? Um, they like, kis tarah hoga hai sab kuch? Formality sari ki sari tay ki and then we were preparing, but uske baad then I was back and then we were preparing for the film. Wow. And in October we just went onto the floors. It was more because at that time, again, I had some bouts in which I was so picky and choosy that I ended up doing nothing. I ended up doing nothing. So I was sleeping, but I was at a more relaxed state in life. I don't say that at that time, you know, like... And obviously the TV success had happened already at that time. It was paying off, you know, I was already happy doing whatever I was doing. But this thing came to me, I said, let's try it and see. Because, you know, we'll see how it turns out, you know. And it seems like a decent film. There's nothing to, I mean, I've kind of, you know, aligned yeah. with it and it's interesting. Yeah. Although the, the script did change, the script had changed mm -hmm. a lot by the time we got onto the shoot. Yeah. But I was like, yeah, nah. let's, let's see how it turns out. Let's see. For me, again, yeah. another big motivator for me to get into it was, I had always been used to working with people that I was comfortable with. Yeah. You know, familiar faces. And I was like, Chalo, yeah, let's try something where you just Stepping go into an alien territory exactly. altogether where you don't know any wow. person. Everything just kind of just yeah. fell into place. But you seem to get along really well with Sonam. She's my girl crush, by the way. Oh my God, that girl dresses up really well. She but, does, she does, she you know, does. but it but it seems like you guys really get along fine. And that was obviously visible on the screen also. You I seem to be really good friends. I think the whole team, huh? you see, one thing is I feel that when a team sort of sleeps, eats, and you know works together, Absolutely. you know really bonds like a family. Uh -huh. And ham to ek aisi jagah mein located the ki jahan pe shoot kar rahe the, wahi pe jana udhar kamre the. Because it was a heritage hotel, to ham khate the, andar jaate the, sote the, subah korte the, nashta saath mein karte the, fir kam karte the, beech mein patte bhi khel rahe hote the. So matlab the thing is ki wo time itna itna zada wo ikatha guzra ki automatically bonding honi shuru hogi. And again, I feel ki they're a very very educated, cultured, and decent family. Yeah. So getting along with them is not a is not a yeah. it's not a difficult thing, and the rest of the team as well. Yeah. There were so many other people in that team. Jin kisa the itni achhi dostiya hui. Time achha guzra. I guess for the first time, or maybe not for the first time, but out of the few instances mm -hmm. when I've just been very loose and you know sort of like easy easy yeah. going. So I was easy going hua tha ke I, no one had problems with me. I didn't have problems with anyone. Yeah. So we got, got along very well. Wonderful. And the biggest thing, the issue, the battle of Vota Na Ki Air, aesthetically, yeah. I'm working with a team that also knows what they're talking about and Absolutely. they also accept my input. Wonderful. So, I was very comfortable. So, as long as, long as I'm looking good, to baki jo hai, hum sare ka sara kar lenge, we'll manage it. So, what happens now? What happens now? What's next? Next in the pipeline. Huh? <laughs> There are some really interesting projects that really? we've uh, come across. Yay, uh, more of Fawad Khan coming. <laughs> Get ready girls, there's happens. a lot more just, of Fawad Khan coming your way. Just Allah says that it's like that. Don't worry, many people are praying for you. No, 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 I've been very blessed that way. Many people have so much love and support. And it continuously has been, you know, people have been very kind with it. Yeah. But uh, in the future, you know, people have been very kind with it. But in the future, there's some really interesting projects in Bollywood. I don't like saying Bollywood. I say in India yeah. and uh, in the Indian film industry and in the Pakistani film industry as well. Wow. Both. So, so, so it's very refreshing because clearly you're you're not really going for say the Indian film industry or the Pakistani film industry, but the, you're targeting roles clearly here. I'm I'm just learning. I'm learning the ropes. Even today, I don't consider myself to be a brilliant actor. There are much more talented people oh, out you're there. You're a I'm brilliant like, brooder. Oh, <laughs> nobody broods better than you do, dude. <laughs> but uh, yes, coming back to that, sorry. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, the thing is, that the thing I was talking about travel and education, I um, didn't get in my youth. Now I'm getting the so I'm taking it, taking the bull by the horns. I think that now, you know, that, that whole thing that I was talking about, when I'm working, traveling, for me it's an education. I'd like to go to as many places around the world as possible. Wherever work takes me, I'd love to go. I, I, I'm very serious about it. A lot of people, a lot of people think that I'm enjoying it. When I say that, you know, if someone offers a Nigerian film, then although I have a film from South Africa and from Kenya, it was also offered. It was also this interesting project. You have some global fans, I see clearly. I wouldn't say, I think that because there were people, expats or people working in, in, in London, BBC, mm -hmm. में काम कर रहे हैं इस तरह की जो काम कर रहे होते तो वहाँ पे 
यू नो बहुत से लोगों को आई एम नॉट प्रॉब्ली दी ओनली वन बहुत से लोगों को इस तरह जो जाती होंगी बट मेरा सिर्फ कहने का मकसद है कि आई वुड लव टू बिली ट्रैवल विथ माई वर्क एंड सी द वर्ल्ड एंड सी द वर्ल्ड ऑन माई ओन टाइम बट दैन सी द वर्ल्ड इन दैट स्पेस बिकॉज जब आप काम कर रहे होते हो तो यू आर स्पेंडिंग मोर टाइम विथ यू नो पीपल फ्रॉम डिफरेंट कल्चर्स एंड लोकल्स तो हर लिहाज से वो एक 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 बड़ा एक एजुकेटिंग एक्सपीरियंस एक इन्जॉयबल एक्सपीरियंस होता है एंड ये चीज़ हमें बहुत कम एक्सपीरियंस करने को मिलती है आज की दुनिया में जितना भी मुझे ऐसे लगता है कि मसले मसाइल हैं वो इसलिए हैं बिकॉज हम लोगों को जानते नहीं हम लोगों से इंटरेक्ट नहीं करते हैं वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू नो ये सिर्फ इंडिया पाकिस्तान की आप देख लें हालात क्या हैं इसलिए हैं बिकॉज लॉट ऑफ पाकिस्तान नो वट इंडिया इज लाइक एंड लॉट ऑफ इंडियंस डोट नो वट पाकिस्तान इज लाइक तो आई थिंक अगर ट्रैवल करेंगे लोगों से मिलेंगे तो आपको असल कहानी पता लगेगी एंड देन यू गेट आउट ऑफ द होल मीडिया प्रोपागेंडा एंड ऑल दैट काइंड ऑफ स्टफ सो व्हाट वी गेटिंग ओवर हियर इज दैट फवाद खान इज ऑल सेट टू टेक ऑन द वर्ल्ड एंड देयर आर लॉट मोर प्रोजेक्ट्स कमिंग अप सो वी आर गोइंग टू बी सीइंग अ होल लॉट ऑफ हिम वी डू विश यू द वेरी बेस्ट ऑफ लक एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर टेकिंग द टाइम आउट दिस वाज सच अ प्लेजर थैंक यू फॉर हैविंग मी फॉर मी एज़ वेल लाइकवाइज